welcome back to another video. I want to bring you inside our playroom, give you a tour, show you the setup, because it's been a while since you've been in here and had a tour. So let's do it. Welcome back to my channel and for everyone who's new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. My name's Al. This is Rue. He's off. He's off. This is Revy. Hi. Hi. This is Ms. Rachel. She lives with us, um, helps out a ton. Ms. Rachel, we're so grateful for you. So grateful for you. The last time I showed a playroom video, the twins were like just over six months old. They might have been seven, eight months, that kind of time frame. And I was watching that video the other day and it was so crazy because I was in this room there was no baby gate. In fact, in that video, we were talking about how we wanted to add a baby gate because they were crawling and they were getting faster. Well, um, now they're walking and running. They're all over the place. So the baby gate, thank you to pass me for getting that sorted. Let's do a wee tour and show you. The room is, I mean, I wanna say the room's basic. The room's not basic. And I'm not gonna say it's basic because I spent a lot of time coming up with the idea for this, but we did it on a budget, we DIY'd. Um, I got a lot of inspiration off of Pinterest. And also, you guys know who's, who have been hanging out with me on my channel, you see it all here. We are not an aesthetic channel right now. We're not in that era where everything is perfect and tidy all the time. So just outside of the playroom is our lounge, which you've seen like in lots of vlogs. And then opposite me is the kitchen where I have been filming reels in between the twins napping so I'm not going to show you that because it looks like a bomb site honestly but the amazing thing about this house when we got it I was like wow this is really kind of weird to have two lounges like a lounge here which is where we hang out like all the time and then this more formal lounge that we used to have the doors always shut it wasn't a great setup but it's actually so perfect now that we're at this particular life stage because we leave the doors open we have our baby gate out the front and the twins can literally stand here and watch us from here and not get FOMO. We used to have the jolly jumpers attached to the this here, the door frame. And that was really cool as well because then they could be in the jolly jumper and they could watch me in the kitchen or out here doing things and that worked great. But jolly jumpers, they're kind of past that now. <laughs> anyway, the baby gate we got from Mitre 10 and it's awesome. I love how it's curved and the way in which we've positioned it just means that they've got extra space where they can kind of go outside of the room and, and look around and take everything in. We've divided the room sort of into areas. We've got the TV hangout zone. We've got the changing station books. We've got the playhouse slash a spot where we can put things out of reach. This little explore area here, this bookcase my dad made me. Over here we've got our trampoline, little bounce zone, and this very colorful floor mat. And then we have a storage kind of explore station over here for the twins. That's the overview of what the room is like. Let's go into some more detail though, and let me take you through each of these areas individually. We are back with the tour. Sorry about that little pause there. As I was saying, the playroom, I have tried to divide it up into kind of sections. Let me take you through each of the sections, each of the areas. You may not have the same space that we have. You may have more space, but there might be a section that you like and you want to kind of try to recreate in your own place. When you come into the space, over here, we have, of course, the TV, which had to be hung up on the wall because babies, you know. When the twins were pulling themselves up and learning to stand, I loved the idea of creating a little standing bar. There are lots of examples on Pinterest, but this is just what I came up with using what we already had. I had this old mirror, it's super old. I think I got it from my Nana or something. <laughs> so we've just made sure that it's attached to the wall, nice and safe, that it can't come off. And this piece of furniture here, she is hefty, she's a beast. My dad made this for me out of pallet wood. It used to be our coffee table many years ago when I couldn't afford furniture really. So my dad um, kindly built it for me using pallet wood and we painted it. 
but it's really good because the twins were able to stand here, practice standing, and it was so cute that they were able to look at themselves in the mirror and play and the benefit of this actually meant that when we're sitting on the couch and we can't see their faces we can see their faces i also like that it brings a bit of extra light into the room and then along the top of the coffee table i just change up the different puzzles and games that are here so that they can stand and play with things coming over to the left this here is the bookcase that i got from mocha and this one is in my last playroom makeover vlog I loved it, if you remember I spray painted it or painted it outside and it's so perfect. It was amazing when the twins couldn't open these drawers because I was able to stash all of their like ointments and lotions and that kind of thing in these drawers but now they can open them. So everything in here has to be safe for them so we hide things like their balls but I keep things that I need here like these are just bibs, like dribble bibs, towels that I put over top of this changing pad and then over here we keep nappies and wipes. I've put this walker in front of the bin because sometimes I like to draw it over here and use it as a distraction when I'm changing the twins. This here is their little bookshelf and it's super cute. This area here is definitely my favorite. I love it so, so much. First up, this playmat is absolutely incredible. I will link it and I will keep my code on the screen as well so that you can access a discount to get this. We have the large playmat and it's reversible. You can pick which colors. They have a bunch of different color options. And I picked the navy and the gray because I knew that I wanted to paint the house kind of like a navy gray color itself like a bluey gray color and i can flip this over and it just changes up the vibe of the playroom it is so so cool the best thing about this play mat is how squishy it is it is so comfortable to sit on it even though we have carpeted floors in our playroom it gets pretty uncomfortable when you're on it for so long we were kindly gifted this one and when the company reached out to me, honestly, I thought, we well, already have a playmat. We had a really cheap one from Kmart, and I was like, we have a playmat. The great thing about a playmat, even if you have a carpeted room, is babies spill, especially when they're in that, well, ours was still in that quite spilly stage. So having a mat that we could wipe down was amazing, and now we use it for them with like activities and when they're eating, all that kind of stuff. It's just incredible. This here, the playhouse, was something that I'm very proud of. I got the inspiration from Pinterest and I have the exact explanation of what I did on my Instagram so you can see it there but it is actually a bed that finishes here this is the bed frame and then my dad built these railings for me to a size that the twins can't get over the brilliant thing about it is there is a ladder and a slide both of those are over here. Right now the twins, they don't come over here and grab it, which is good. So this here is the slide, and then the ladder is behind it here. They are both detachable, which means we can take them on and off at our discretion. My dad also built me some gates here. If we did have the ladder on, for example, we can put this cover over the ladder so that it's a flat surface and they can't climb up it. Just gives us options if we want to have it there. But our kind of unspoken rule is we don't put those on unless we are in the room and we can supervise at this stage. But what I loved about this loft bed is I thought it would be a really cool potential hangout zone where they could read a book and chill out up here when they're a bit older, which is why I loved it. I found this mattress. It's in like three parts. So you could use it as a chair, you could fold it and make it into different shapes depending on what you like. And then up the top here, I have just thrown up some old pillows. The other cool thing about having the second story to the playhouse is that's where we stash things that we don't want the twins to access. It's just a really cool little space and it was so, I wanna say easy, not easy, but it was a lot easier than building something from scratch. So I got the loft bed and then the, the house is actually the Kmart playhouse. It fits 
perfectly. It was like it was designed for this loft bed. I could not believe my luck. Like, look at that. My dad didn't have to make any modifications. It just fit absolutely perfectly here. And then this is the front of the playhouse, the little playhouse facade. So cute. We chose the number 25 because the 20s were born on the 25th of February. So their birthday is 25. These little planter boxes, I did have artificial plants when uh, we first got it, but the twins would just pull it out. So instead I use it as a little bookshelf and we just change up the books. Other thing is I decided we were, my dad and I were talking about whether or not we should raise this bed and we played around with it, my dad did. He put some blocks under it just to increase the height because you know, this clearance, they won't be able to clear that forever. Right now they can still, Rue has to kind of duck under this bit um, and then those like beams that come down, he ducks under those. He knows because he's like, I think, knocked his head on them. But if we raised it, the slide over there and the ladder don't work anymore. So we decided just to keep the height as it is and then as they get older, I'll just have to crawl in like I can. I can actually get into this house and I can sit in here. My head here is kind of up, but I can sit in and play with the twins in here. So I can fit, Dave can fit. It's just, you know, when you're playing with the kitchen, you've got to be down a bit lower. But I will link where all of the, the house mat that I've got up there, all that stuff, the frame of the house, sorry, the bed, all that kind of stuff is if you're wanting to create something fun like this in your own playroom. It's really fun. It's so fun, especially when the weather is like it is today. It's like wintry and cold. We have this really cool activity that's like built into the house. The other amazing special part of the playroom is this ball pit, the soft ball pit. Everything from the Playtime store is so aesthetic and beautiful. This soft play set was kindly gifted by the Playtime store and I will check and see if I can offer a code for anybody who's wanting to purchase anything from there because the quality is just incredible. This play set comes with a bunch of other soft play Just over here. And we always set up the soft play for the twins. They come over here all the time, point to it and ask for it. So we set it up and it is hours and hours and hours of entertainment. Over here in this corner, this was one of the bookcases that again, my dad made for me. It's the same style, the pallet wood furniture. He built it to my specifications when I was a student because I had massive law textbooks that I wanted to be able to store in here. So we have really big shelves that actually hold like big binders and it's great because we've got lots of different toys here. We change them out to try to make it a bit fun and a bit different for the twins. Currently on a bit of a declutter mission. It probably doesn't look like that, but I'm currently working on a declutter challenge, which if you want to join, come over to my Instagram. I've got all the details there. So I'm trying to go through their toys and assess what we should keep, what we shouldn't keep for their age. We used to have two couches, but we've just downsized to one couch and kept the one couch that can fit. The twins flip out sofas are from Kmart. The only annoying thing is the cover comes with the couch. So I actually don't know how to clean it other than I've just been spot cleaning it, but they love it and I sit on it as well. Over here, this bright colorful mat I never planned on having. Dave actually purchased them. He saw them at Bunnings and he thought that they could be a bit of fun. And I was really against it at first because <laughs> this was my vibe, right? This is my vibe. I was trying to keep things like fun and have little pops of color, but also be like cute. And actually this mat, was so perfect for so many reasons. First of all, the colors are fun. Kids love colors, so I'm gonna put it there. But it also just makes our feature wall just look really cool. This feature wall, so kind, um, a friend painted this for us. So the pastel colors, she asked what colors I wanted and I said, oh, I'd love pet. She suggested a rainbow and 
I agree. So, but I asked for a kind of like a pastel rainbow because I found these wall decals, which I will link. There are so many different options, but these are just, just peel. I love how it looks. It's really, really fun. And I decided randomly, well, not randomly, Revy was always jumping. So I wanted to get them a trampoline and this trampoline I found on Facebook Marketplace. It's a toddler trampoline. What I have done is I have taped, duct taped, um, towels because the handlebars are this kind of material and Rue, the minute we got it, he just would not stop biting it. And I would love to one day maybe resell it so that somebody else can enjoy it. So the solution was I got hand towels and I tried to find, you know, ones that I was going to do it in like a, maybe a more matching kind of way, but I think it works. It's fine, whatever. And I literally duct taped them. So that is duct tape hand towels. They can still hold on and grip, um, which is good because then they can bounce. When I got this, people messaged me right away on Instagram and let me know about their safety concerns they had for it. The twins, right from the get-go, were so good at us teaching them how to get off this trampoline to step off backwards. So they sit down, they turn themselves around, and they get down backwards. They haven't fallen off yet, but that's why we also have this here, is just some extra kind of protection. They haven't banged their chin on the bar yet, but that's also something we watch for. The thing, the concern I had was the twins were climbing on it from the front and the weight distribution, because there's two of them, it was kind of looking like it was going to tip. So underneath the trampoline, which doesn't impact where you bounce, I have tied these huge dumbbells, which holds the weight so they can stand on it. They can both stand on the edge there and hold on to the bars and the trampoline doesn't tip. So that is one little thing I've done and I just wanted to show you it, but I have this covered up with a blanket so that if they ever did fall off, they won't bang their head hopefully as hard. This area of the playroom, I also love. We did this on a mega, mega budget. These little cubes are just from Kmart and then, I bought these, I can't remember where these are from. I think the warehouse, but they're a bit small. That's okay though. They, they're doing the job for now, but I will get a bigger cube to fit in that space eventually. The top of the, these little cubes, we can change out, put different toys for them to stand, pull out toys again down here. I loved this bench. This is from Mocha. Again, I'll have it linked. We've got these here, which used to have like their baby stuff in them. They're just from Kmart. Again, I will link them if they're available. Same thing over here. I bought from Mocha at the same time that I got the bench. I got this table, the kitchen that I will link, which is underneath the house over there. This table here comes with the chairs as well, which is so fun. The twins actually, they freaking love to sit on these chairs, but they're way, the, they're not the age for them yet, but they do like it. So we keep those over here. Their little bumblebee ride-ons are their favorite. They're also parked over here. Behind the door, got, this is their preschool outfits. These are all clothes and that we don't mind them getting dirty and that they can just like mess up. And then this little happy camper, Rue absolutely loves it. Some photos, this was just a fun little gallery wall just to fill that space. And just, it's really special seeing the twins with us making memories, family members, friends making memories. It's, I love looking at those pictures. They make me so, so happy. I hope you found this video helpful. If you're looking for inspiration for your playroom or play space, remember, it's all about just working with whatever you've got. I found Pinterest to be the best resource to get some inspiration from. And over time, this is going to change, but this is just what we've got now. I'm so, so grateful that we were able to create this space for the twins, and I hope that they love it and enjoy it as much as we do being in here with them. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up. The support means the world to me. And if you're new here, make sure you hit subscribe. I upload new videos every single week. I will see you very soon in the next one. Bye.